Our tail of the tape brought to you by Super Export Shop. Michaela Jorgensen, 23, two years the junior of Aaron Carter. The records, Carter, four wins from four fights, one by way of knockout and six fights for Michaela Jorgensen with five wins. Yeah, and Aaron Carter, she, man, she sold out half the suburb, the WFC World Fitness Cartel yeah, from all the way out in Churnside, trained by Daniel Barber. She's uh, been super successful recently over at the WBC Muay Thai Festival too, I believe. And the perfect, unblemished professional start to her career so far. Haven't seen Michaela Jorgensen fight in person. Have seen her on a couple of broadcasts. So looking forward to seeing how these two ladies match up here tonight. Yeah, Michaela Jorgensen, Roots 21, lost to Brittany Thomas. Roots 22 win for Erin Carter over Hannah Salter. <laughs> There's Somsaret to oversee the action. Third fight from the ladies this evening. One more to go. Three by three minute rounds. Carter in the black trunks. Jorgensen in the white trunks. And if you're watching at home, make sure you jump on to check out the Roots Fan Yard. Step into the ring of Drills and Excitement. That's available on the socials. You can check out all of the playlists from the songs that the fighters walked out to tonight. Aaron Carter coming out to Jerry Rafferty, a bit of Baker Street, probably the best saxophone solo since Andrew Parnham's high school band, Andrew of the Jets, and their debut at the school formal. I'm sure there's a few band camp stories too. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you can even go in the draw to receive a pair of Roots uh, collab Fairtex gloves. Uh, we'll have your say on who deserves the Rebellion shorts Seen a pair handed out tonight to Chloe Dan. We welcome her to the Rebellion ranks. It's the big tour, Aaron Carter. Oh, some taken. big hands to start the round off. That's those fair text little gloves, mate. Yeah, big hands like a Foo Fighters video, if you don't mind the reference. Aaron Carter, she's got some great tools in the tool shed. And she'll need them. Michaela Jorgensen shows some great boxing so far. She snapped the head back of Aaron Carter a couple of times, who puts a couple good knees. Invest them to the body of Jorgensen and a right elbow over the top. Yeah, and Carter cleaned up the WBC Super Featherweight over Bella Marcos a few months ago. So, the high point of her career so far. Now she's up against Jorgensen here at uh, Roots. Oh, looking big and strong with those left body kicks there. Making a pay for the missed leg kick. Yeah, really started crashed into the ribs, didn't it? That big left kick of Erin Carter. She's done a little bit of work out at Super Fight too, in the clinch as we see her do just that. Unorthodox style from Aaron Carter at times. Mixes up her techniques well. It's a hit snap back by jab from the Western Australian to shoot Muay Thai product. Brian Harris doing, some, doing a good job up there, turning out some talent. And a hard right kick to the body from Michaela Jorgensen. Chopping away at the leg. Times that one well was Aaron Carter raised the check and then put it back down and Made a hard leg kick for her troubles. She's weighing on her early is Erin Carter. She brought a real crowd in with her tonight to the sold out, the sold out crowd here at the Melbourne Pavilion. Really turned up for Roots 25 pressure drop. Yeah, they've been great since the since the drop of the first fight. Erin doing a great job there, grabbing the neck, pushing it down. She tries to find some space to land some of those knees, but uh, as you can say, Michaela landing some beautiful knees of her own as Song breaks the ladies up. Yeah, pressure drop. Song made famous by Toots and the Maytals from that Jimmy Cliff film, Harder They Come, 1974. And those of you who are Muay Thai and reggae fans, as many of us are here tonight, uh, it's one of the films that really brought reggae into the forefront. As we see the Roots card, bringing these young fighters into the forefront of the attention of all the Muay Thai fans watching at home. As we see the girls tango in the middle. Aaron Carter one step ahead in the waltz in that exchange. Remind me to bring you along to one of our pub trivia nights there, mate. Oh my God, that was amazing. Well, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> big body shot there, big right kick as another left kick comes back from Michaela. 
Erin trying to find a mark, trying to close the distance. A big left knee there. She grabs the neck, pulls her down. Another big left knee. Right knee tries to hit to the head and just misses its mark. Yeah, a bit of a swing and a miss to end round number one. However, entertaining round. Erin Carter and Michaela Jorgensen here at Roots. 25, pressure drop. As we take a look at the replay brought to you by Super Export Shop. Yeah, Erin's got some real power when she lands uh, the, the, the kicks. When she does land them, seem to have more power on them than Jorgensen's, but Jorgensen's had her moments too, don't you worry. The hands, that white Fairtex leather, and found a mark time and time again. And when they do, Erin's so tall and she stands so upright with such a narrow base that they really tell. And then we see the girls tangling up in the clinch. A good knee on the inside from Erin. The second one misses, just kind of lying on her a little bit there. Was happy just to bank those first two scoring knee shots. A really close opening stanza to this fight, number nine, Steven. Indeed, and we've got plenty more to go. I think we've got another eight fights. So plenty more action remaining here at Route 25. Don't forget our, uh, two main, our main event and our co-main, reaching both the Sipmon Chais, Carter Lawrence and Nick Keros in both of them respectively, but it's Carter and Jorgensen, and Carter getting a flurry going in the clinch early. Yeah, she's come crashing forward into the clinch and some good scoring knees and a left kick on the break. Didn't have a lot of power in it. Both her hands down. She's got such a narrow base. I feel like if she just kind of widened that out a little bit, just lowered her height, that she'd be able to get some real purchase. As she slams that one home. Jorgensen, a good right hand to a left kick. Jorgen, combination there, Andrew. Style, mate. The left and right kick. She's handling herself really well against the bigger Carter. She ties her up up against the ropes there. Yeah, I'm really enjoying seeing what I'm uh, witnessing here from Jorgensen. Beautiful style. I love her right kick when she lets it go. The right hand just whizzes by the, the nose of Erin Carter, probably for the best, or look a little bit more like mine. I can smell around corners, don't you worry about that, Andrew <laughs> PTJ. Oh, good hard low kicks. Doubling up is Jorgensen. It's a good way to attack the taller fighter. Good strong lock from Jorgensen. Aaron Carter stood up tall and then has her posture broken. Good exchange from the Western Australian. Somsarat separates. The footwork of Aaron, uh, it's quite unorthodox, I think. Oh, there's another big exchange there. Jorgensen's got that nice left kick cranking, but then she cops another one there from Aaron. It's kind of hard to read with Aaron the way that she moves. She kind of walks in left and right as the girls uh, lock up in the clinch here. We can see a nice right knee there. Another left knee counter as Aaron tries to pull her down. Elbows over the top there as Jorgensen hugs out, trying to bury her head inside the shoulder there so to avoid the elbows. Yeah, two good elbows as Jorgensen had a posture broken. Good moment from Aaron Carter. WSC one of two World Fitness Cartel gyms. This one out in Churnside. Aaron Carter representing tonight. There's a bit half the crowd here, if you don't mind, who have packed in tonight. Oh, beautiful left kick there as well. Yeah, that was, that was pretty as a pitcher, a William Liu moment. Steps in with the right hand, does Jorgensen, but she just finds some more of those knees of Carter, who steps back out of the way. Just moonwalks out of the way like Michael Jackson. Can you still say that? Good teep to the thigh <laughs> from Aaron Carter. Steps out, oh, that really nice. hurt. That really hurt as she kicked the check of Erin Carter. She really felt that to Jorgensen, and the right kick's been so good for her tonight. She might be a little bit more reluctant to throw that now, Andy. Yeah, it makes you wonder whether or not she's had a previous injury there. She's got an ankle guard on it. Erin um, really going to town now with those knees. Looking very unsteady now, Andrew. Correct. Kayla Jorgensen's looking unsteady on her feet as she looks to see out the rest of this round on her bicycle, but she doesn't. She just eats one of those big Erin Carter pet in the knee straight up the middle. Oh, some real telling moments at the end of round number two. Yeah, you can see she's taking the weight off that right leg for that last uh, 15, 20 seconds. I think it was just that, it was, yeah, you can just see that mark there just above the shin. It looks like the left uh, foot as well. As we take a look at the replay, bring a Super Export shop. Oh, man, and Shannon Garner in the corner. There's ice in the wrong part of the leg. She needs to go down on the shin. But as we look over to the action, it was Erin Carter had some really big moments. She broke the posture on Michaela in the in the clinch and landed a couple good elbows. Is this the moment where we saw it? No, uh, that was good work there from Michaela. It's kind of... 
50-50 in the clinch for a lot of the time. But there was the, that big telling moment where Jorgensen kicked the chair of Aaron Carter and stumbled backwards on a potentially compromised right leg. And there was that big, big finishing uh, final chapter up from Aaron Carter who had a huge leg kick at the end. There's that kick. See, so she just shuffles on it while she's standing on glass. Stephen White, round number three. Indeed, of by three as Carter and Jorgensen go to battle. We'll see what uh, if that injury affects Jorgensen. She's uh, standing in trading so far. Yeah, looking like she made a somewhat of a recovery now so far. Nice left kick there to the forearms. Erin stalking it down, waiting for that opportunity to walk forward. Left kick blocked well. Left kick return from Erin. Erin Carter just nods at Michaela, steps forward, looking to find a position that she can stab that knee forward from. And there she goes, that one landing on the hip. Not a lot doing, just weighing down on the, the arms of Michaela. Such an imposing figure is Erin when she's walking through. Pretty much, oh, nice left kick there again to the forearms and she blocks the counter there. Yeah, timing that lift kick well as Erin steps forward. The blue corner, good technique, good smarts from the Western Australian who's pretty much been exclusively on the left leg in this the third round. Erin showing some real determination to get in the clinch in the third. Not a lot on those elbows. Bit of Taylor a sucks her in. On that one, I think. <laughs> Bit of sign of frustration. Can't find the distance to land the clean shot there as uh, Michaela does a good job of trying to smother. Beautiful left kick there again. Yeah, Michaela fighting really well in this third round with the left kick. And once again, you see that power of Aaron Carter. He chops away with the right elbow. There's not a lot on those. They're from such short range. She's kind of landing with the, the forearm. Another good left kick from Jorgensen. Having a great third round in my books. Yeah, I have to agree with you there, mate. She's definitely landing the cleanest shots. Aaron's walking forward, landing shots, but they're just not so clean. And oh, oh. that was a nice left yeah. since I spoke about it. But wasn't far away at all. Michaela definitely land the cleanest shots in this round for sure. But there's another beautiful right knee there from Erin. Just want to see her kind of get a little bit high, a little bit more power, a little bit more wind up in the knee to land the, the, the full impact of her shots. I think she just said her, 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 her base is so narrow. At times her feet are almost directly together underneath her. You know, she just see, if we, as we look at her there, she's almost standing on a 20 cent piece. If she kind of spread that out. I think she'd get some real... Real mongrel in that right knee. Jorgensen, again, playing off the back foot. She'll look to score with the left kick. Oh, she goes back to the well with the right. Brave, uh, showing some good heart. The Western Australian, good left kick. Not as much power on it as she had earlier on in the third. Again, trying to clinch up. 20 seconds remaining. And uh, they're going to be separated by Somsarat. And we'll see how this one closes out. Yeah, swing and a miss there from Aaron. Ten seconds left now. It's been Jorgensen with the left kick as she lands another one and a oh. right kick off the back leg. Aaron comes forward looking oh. for an... Oh, it scores again, does Michaela Jorgensen. Big finish to the third round of this fight, Stephen. Yep, Michaela Jorgensen looked like she was injured into that second round. She'd come back with a big third round, but to the judges' scorecard, we will go again this evening. Great night of fights here at Roots 25 Pressure Drop. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you're listening, watching, I should say. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, well, the pressure hasn't been dropped for tonight. It's been piling up. The killer pastels are high here at the Melbourne Pavilion as we look at Erin Carter with determination on her face, storming forward, getting that inside position. And just, yeah, as you say, Andrew, maybe a bit of a sign of frustration there. Uh, she smirks it off. Jorgensen fought beautifully off the back foot in the third. Scored almost at will with the left kick. Fighting on a potentially compromised right leg. See Aaron chopping away with the right elbows as she did at times. Had some success, but never really landed with the, the point of the elbow, as she might have hoped. Gills go one for one with the kick, nothing doing, and just slaps her across the face. How you going? And it appears like the man is back in the middle. Action. We head to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30 27 to your winner and still undefeated red corner, notorious Heron 
Carter. Five fights, five straight wins for Erin Carter. She takes the dub here over Michaela Jorgensen at Roots 25. Pressure drop.